Good morning, dear students. I welcome you all in the online computer class. Today we are going to start a new chapter, chapter three, designing simple website using Composer. Children, you all might have used different websites for different purposes. Some might have used for shopping, some for projects. Some of you might have used for acquiring study materials, some for doing online payments, and so on. First, let us see what is a website. A website is a collection of interlinked web pages. A website helps in promoting the business, selling the products, and attracting a large number of customers. Hence, it is important that the website should have good design techniques, which will enable the company to get maximum traffic, making maximum profit. The website should be interactive, user-friendly, and providing accurate and useful information. If the website is commercial, it should increase customers. So. Appropriate care should be taken while designing a website. Now we will see how to plan before designing a good website. Better the planning of the website, the desired goals can be achieved. Following are the important points for developing a good website. First one, purpose. The purpose of the website should be clearly identified. The purpose for creating the website may be to provide information to a group of people, or it may be to attract the new customers, or it may be to sell the products online. After deciding the purpose, the contents and layout of the website can be properly developed. Second one, audience. Before we start the designing part of the website, we should know the expected users of the website. Also, the audience's expectations from the website should be known. The website should contain both general and detailed information. If large graphical files are kept on the website, they will take a long time to download. The users will become impatient while waiting for large files and leave the site. Thus, it is desirable that the website should contain minimum and essential graphics only. Third one is content. The website must contain complete and relevant, that is, useful information. If the information provided is incomplete, the user may leave the website. If the information provided is irrelevant, that is not useful, then the user can get frustrated. The website contents should be classified into general and detailed categories. The general content provides an overview of the site, organization, products, and services. It helps user to determine what he is searching and informs him about all the items available. The detailed content provides users with detailed information about the product. Next thing, text paragraphs should be kept short. The navigation in the website that is moving from one page to another should be made easy so the user can get back easily to the home page. In short, ensuring that appropriate information both general and detailed is available and easily accessible ensures that the site can serve its purpose and reach to desired goal. Now last and final step for planning to design a good website is medium. 
the website design should work on all the devices like smartphones tablets computers because more people are using internet through smartphones and tablets also note that the website should be well displayed in all the popular browsers like mozilla firefox google chrome or internet explorer so today we studied that for developing a good website proper detailed planning should be done in other words we can say that the desired goals for developing the website can be achieved only by proper planning hope to meet you in next online computer class thank you have a good day